In this video, let us look into how to describe a set in the set builder form. In the previous video, we did look into the roster form description of a set, right? In this video, we're going to look into the set builder form. So how are we going to describe a set in the set builder form? So here, let us straight away learn by an example because that's the easiest way to learn how to describe a set in the set builder form. There's no use, you know, going through the explanation, all those things. Let's straight away start seeing an illustration to learn how to describe a set in the set builder form. All right, here is an example. Say now we've got something called as a set A. Of course, it's in the roster form. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. All right, now how do you describe this particular set in the set builder form? This is how you do that. Say the same, write the same thing A equal to, open the bracket, and then there are eight elements in this set. All right, so let, so now, all these things belong to what natural numbers? Since it starts off from 1, it belongs to natural numbers. If if it would have started off with 0, it would have been whole numbers. So since it starts off with 1 and goes on to 8, it definitely can't be anything but natural numbers, right? So let x belong to natural numbers. This is how you start writing a set builder form. First write whatever it is, okay? Let x belong to natural numbers. Such that, you know, such that is represented by this symbol, which is called as a colon. Let me write it here. C-O-L-O-N. That is what is these two dots called is. So X belongs to natural numbers such that, such that what? Such that there is a condition here, right? The, the specific thing here is that it doesn't extend beyond 8. It doesn't go beyond 8. It stops at 8. So, such that x is less than or equal to 8, right? It's definitely not more than 8. It is less than or equal to 8. And close the bracket. So, don't you think this represents exactly this? x belongs to natural numbers, all right, such that x is less than or equal to 8. 1 is less than 8. 2 is less than 8. 3 is less than 8. It all satisfies one condition or the other. So, this is how you write a given set in a set builder form. So let's quickly look into another illustration to try and understand how to describe a set in the set builder form. All right, here we've got another example. The set of all real numbers greater than minus 1 and less than 1. So you have to describe this in the set builder form. How do you do that? Open a bracket. So all the elements in the set will be called as x. And what that x belongs to, what is it actually? It's a set of real numbers. So it belongs to real numbers, which is denoted by R. There should be some conditions, right? I mean, everything cannot be a real number. Like, I mean, there's a certain limit. So write such that. So this is the first step. It's pretty easy, this. So such that. It is greater than minus 1. What is greater than minus 1? The element present in the set, which will be X. Right? It will be right in the middle. This is greater than minus 1. So write like this. But it is less than 1. So this x is less than 1. Close the bracket. That's all. So this is the set builder form description of a set. So this is how you describe a particular set in the set builder form. So the set of all real numbers greater than minus 1 and less than 1 is described in the set builder form as this. x belongs to real numbers such that minus 1 is lesser than x and x is lesser than 1. So that means the elements that belong in this set are all real numbers, which is less than minus 1, sorry, which is greater than min minus 1 and less than 1 or not greater than 1. So that is what it says. So this ends this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more concepts of problems based on sets. Thank you.